Greetings, Soul Tribe. It is your spiritual friend. Yes, it's the girl, Brittany, here with a, a random nine card reading. Let's see what info Spirit has for you today. Okay, so this is for those of you that might have a love interest on your mind, as well as others scattered thoughts about life, about wellness, about you know, spirituality, fitness, health. Let's just see. So the first card is going to represent your past. So in the past, you could have wanted to make music. You could have wanted to be a writer, a director, some type of artist, musician, or spokesperson. You could have wanted to do poetry, or you could have done those things in the past. Something involving the airways, something involving the throat chakra or the, the throat system, the sound system, <clears throat> speaking verbally, speaking, singing, praising, preaching, ministering, something with words, something with sound. Mm -hmm. Someone could have done ASMR videos or wanted to do that or been heavily interested in ASMR in the past. Second card is going to represent your present, the present. So in the present, spirit is urging you to have faith. Have faith in your prayers. Have faith in your, your songwriting capability or your singing ability. Have faith in your music. Have faith in your, um, your overall positive way of communicating and thinking. If you were known, if you are someone that has been known to be a positive communicator, no matter what the, what the, um, what it is, however it was you were delivering a message, whether you were a writer, a singer, whatever, have faith in that area of art or of skill, I guess we could say. Spirit is telling you that your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. Now, this third card is going to represent what do people want from you? Wow. So, we have positive expectations in sexuality. We're going to go with the truth. With sexuality, what do people want from your fine, sexy, handsome, beautiful, gorgeous self? People want sexuality from you. And spirit said, it's time to move on. So make a wish. So I just feel like uh, if you're holding on to someone and there is someone else that you are interested in, this other person really wants to go to a, they want to explore you. They want to go into a deeper realm of things. They want to deepen the connection, strengthen the bond, but they really want to explore you sexually. They want to see what you are about, what you can do, how you can make them feel, and they want to see how they can make you feel. Oh, but we have self-reliance. Right now is the time where you should only rely on yourself. Um, not so far as your sexuality, what you can do sexually, not so far as your looks, but more of your spiritual beliefs and upbringings rely more on your, um, more on your upbringings, more on your natural ways of being, not so much the ways you were taught to finesse a person, not so much the ways you were taught to, um, how do you say it when you're trying to, like, not seduction, not those ways, but your other ways, your artistic ways, more of your creative ways. Rely on your natural instinct to create, your natural instinct to make music, your natural instinct to minister a belief onto others. This fourth card will represent what do the people think about you? What are these people? Okay, happily ever after. Some people, they feel like they can achieve a happily ever after with you, especially through sexuality. 
they feel like if you were to give them a chance to just hug on you, kiss on you, love on you, share love energy with you, they feel like they can get you to say, yes, I do. They, some people are really looking at you as a um, sexual being and as a sexual object. They're looking at you as some sort of, um, yeah, like a like a sex symbol they just think that you're so beautiful and they feel like together with you they make music someone feels like you are just so i mean i see a lot of water here and i see this girl coming up out of that water coming out of that water yeah so some people are looking at you in a very sexual way um, and they feel like they will get gratification from being with you and they feel like they can give you some gratification too. But for the most part, they look at you as someone that is marriage material or someone that will just make their partner super happy and pleased. Okay, the fifth card is going to represent how do these people feel about you? How does this person or these people feel about the collective? Yes, but I'm using it for this. Uh, there's another one somewhere. Look downstairs in the kitchen floors and in the living room. How do these people feel about the collective? Uh, how does this person view the collective? Look inside yourself. Look inside yourself. Let me get a little bit of. Let me see. So I think that however you view yourself is 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 how the person feels about you. Like I feel like not how they feel about you, but I feel like they know how you view yourself. I feel like if you look at yourself like, well, I'm not all that, even though everybody else is thinking you are all that, I feel like they know that you don't think that highly of yourself. I also am getting the feeling that, um, okay, when we get look inside yourself, they might be looking at you as a sexual object, but you might be looking at yourself as a soon-to-be self-made millionaire. They, you might be looking at yourself as a soon-to-be wealthy individual. You might be looking at yourself about how you continually prosper, how you continually run into monetary gain and good fortune. And I feel like they also know that about you. That's how they view you. They know that you are about your money and they are trying to have you be about sexuality and about, you know, they want to have you be on the love, 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 lovey-dovey side. But really, you view yourself as a money maker. And I think that that is how people feel about you. They know that when you look at yourself, you see money. Money that is there, money that you have had, and money that is soon to come. So this sixth card is going to represent... What action will these people take when it comes to you? What action will this person or these people take when it comes to the collective? What is the action people are going to take when it comes to the collective? Rise above problems. So I feel like this person values you as a individual, as a creative individual, as a hustler, as a money maker, as a go-getter. And they are willing to put aside any problems that they might have with you at this time. Um, yeah, they're ready to rise above the problems. They still want to befriend you. They still want to be close to you. They still want to grow with you. They're still going to be passionate about you and whatever you're passionate about, I guess we could say. And we got playtime, too. So someone really wants to hang out with you no matter what. So this seventh card is going to represent what you should know. What should my collective know at this time? What does the collective need to know? What does 
the collective needs to know? What should the collective know? Miracle healing. So you should know that um, spirit is allowing you to overlook issues with a particular person, a person who really loves and adores you. Um, this person wants to rise above, rise above all problems. And if you are to go with that, go with the flow of things, be in the spirit of um, vibe. How could I say this? Just go with the flow. And then there's that will unlock this miracle healing energy. It will heal any issues that you might have with a person, whether it be a financial issue, a sexual issue, a spiritual issue, a physical issue. I don't know if I said financial, like if a person owes you some money or you feel like they're shortchanging you or something like that. Whatever it is, when this person shows you that they're willing to heal things and rise above problems it and you accept it as that then i feel like it will unlock some sort of miracle healing this eighth card is going to represent advice for you from spirit spirit what's the advice Letting go and quiet time and soulmate relationship in reverse. Okay, so spirit wants you to understand when to let go. Um, if there is a relationship that is just not serving you, you are. it's okay for you to let it go. It's your choice at this point. You can choose to stay in a relationship and forgive someone and go forward with them and learn to heal with a person or you can absolutely choose to let go of something that is just not meshing well with your energy that is not mixing well that is not on one accord and take some quiet time you don't have to be in a relationship with anyone right now and if this person is truly for you they should be able to understand that you need some some alone time so that you can heal and the ninth card, the bottom of the deck will be um, the bottom of, wait, let me shuffle these cards. Let me see what's on the bottom of the deck. So the ninth card will be the outcome. Uh-oh. Rest. So you, you still need rest. You've been working hard. Take a nap and get some rest. That is the, um, the advice. So the bottom of the deck, we have set your sights higher. Increase your standards and expect more for yourself. Don't settle. That's awesome. This is straight to the point. You should be focusing more on making this music that you always dreamed on making. You could be focusing more on writing that book, on writing that song, writing that poetry, creating that um, that video or that movie or those YouTube videos that you wanted to do in the past. Focus less on sexuality. However, be your beautiful self. Have faith in who you are. And if you need to use sexuality or you want to use sexuality as a way to climb the ladder, because there are other people that use sexuality as a topic, as a, um, as a, see, the words are not coming, but the ideas are coming, but you know, ah, oh, man, the words are not, it's hard for me to put them in word, put this in words, but like, if your thing is, um, provocative fashion or if your thing is um something about body about taking care of the body something about beauty 
like that's okay like people want beautiful skin people want big healthy body parts you know what i'm saying if you have some insight on how to grow your breasts how to firm and grow your butt how to grow your hair or how to if you do vajayshals and vagina waxing or whatever this is about sexuality if that's what you want to use to blossom in the world of filmmaking or video making or editing go ahead and do it and live happily after happily ever after make that money don't let the money make you rise above all problems with letting go and getting rest and set your sights higher you you can do whatever you want to do sexual or not sexual you can do whatever you want to do but remember that when you increase your standards and expect more for yourself when you set your sights higher, when you have faith, you will unlock a miracle healing over your over your life. You'll always rise above your pro your problems though. This has been a good reading, so hopefully you got something out of it. Then we have deprogram yourself. This is my deck, the soul alignment oracle cards. Let me know if you need a deck deprogram yourself and your family unsubscribe to outdated drama and live your life according to god's plan um so yeah that's been your reading hopefully you got something out of it if you like it give me a thumbs up because i'm trying to circulate these messages and see how the youtube algorithm really work i don't know what's going on but let's figure it out together Give me a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, do whatever you feel you can do to increase the positive energy around here. And I appreciate it. And I will be back to bring you another message soon. Deuces.